Hey guys, this is Coach Bill with uh, Bill Maybe Online Coaching. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. What day is this? Today's Saturday, and uh, let me get these pop ups off here real quick. And let me start my clock and let's get the ball rolling here. Uh, today, guys, is a great day. Um, I've got another great uh, client win. I've told you guys in the past that whenever I get some great uh, news that I'm going to pass it on to you because the public needs to know um, the power of uh, ketogenic meals when you incorporate it with intermittent fasting and that this is just not talk. This is the real deal. There's just so much science behind it that even doctors can no longer deny it because uh, the documentation will always overrule conversation and uh, blood tests do not lie. So today's uh, topic is about a, another um, doctor, skeptical doctor. He happened to be a cardiologist with uh, one of my current clients who've been f doing one of my uh, programs for the last oh, 60 days or so. He, uh, the individual does have some heart issues, some kidney issues, and of course he, was, uh, he needed to lose some weight. And the weight part of it is gone. He is down to uh, a goal weight now, or a healthy weight where we want to keep him at. So, of course, the next step is to start working on good heart health and getting a stronger kidney, which is what we're working on. And so the good news is, is that um, his cardiologist, well, let's, let's, I don't know if it's the good news, but the, the news was his cardiologist a couple days ago when they went to see him, um, they actually told him what they were doing with me and the uh, program that they were that he was following um, I just uh, I also not only do I have my clients do the uh, ketogenic meals but when they've been on a ketogenic meal or intermittent fasting for about three to four to five months I'll also incorporate my meal plan for see in my programs I have included meal plan one Meal plan two, meal plan three, and also a meal plan four. Meal plan four, all it is is just a uh, Mediterranean style lifestyle, still high good dietary fat, but we're incorporating some um, low glycemic carbs to it for a certain amount of time. So I'll interchange it, and we like I'm mixing it up all the time. And also, what we need to explain to these doctors now more specifically because uh, they just most of them don't get it is when we're talking about good dietary fat, we're talking about good dietary fat coming from organic uh, vegetables. Uh, we're talking about grass-fed, pasture-raised pasture grass-fed meats. We're talking about pasture-raised eggs, cage-free eggs. Um, we're talking about pasture-raised uh, dairy products also. We're, we're, we're getting everybody off of the ultra-processed foods, and we're getting them also off of... Um, you know, uh, trans fats, that's the biggest thing, get them off trans fat. Well, when they explained to the doctor what they were doing, to, or what the program they were following, he was a little, he was skeptical about it, the bottom line is. And so um, he really didn't, uh, wasn't interested in what they were doing because he really felt like it wasn't going to really do any good. But he did, he did want to contact me, he didn't want to get, he wanted all my personal inf information, he wanted to check on this who this bill guy is, and so forth. And the client told him that he that I am open to talk to any doctor out there. So anyway, a couple days later, I get a uh, email or a message from my client, and she stated that she says, you know, uh, I, we just got an email from the doctor. Uh, I am not going to tell you what the email says. I'm just going to uh, forward the email over to you. And let you read it. Now, this is what the doctor said, and I'm going to read it to you guys. Um, it says here, the message is from a current client's doctor who was skeptical. Thank you for this email. This does look promising. If the true focus is, is low carbs and no processed foods, I will definitely look into this. I will check Mr. Ellis Labs. I am already seeing results actually and it, it, and it does look promising. Guys, see that? That's another testimonial that the intermittent fasting and a ketogenic meal, when it's done right, and you're taking the processed foods out of your lifestyle, that 
disease models do change. Uh, even in even the cardiologists are starting to focus more on the two programs. Uh, kidney specialists are doing it, and so it's it's it. And there is so much new science. Matter of fact, you guys, I have to tell you today about four hours ago, I got some brand new science uh, here. It, this science, this is real true science. It's not uh, Google. This is real. came from Science Direct, which was published in the scientific journals in the case studies. And this is a real uh, case study. And this is what it is. It's a, it, was, it was published in the Science Direct, and it was by the Journal of the Lancet. Uh, volume 39, issue 10338. This, this is what makes it a true case study. It was published uh, on May uh, on May fourteenth, twenty twenty two. That's how new it is. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And what it was, it was a research done on a Mediterranean diet, which is a good high uh, a good high dietary fat versus low fats. That's what the, it was. A test that was done over seven years. There was about a thousand two participants that were split into two groups. One group was doing the uh, Mediterranean style, high good dietary fat meals. And the other one was uh, doing the uh, uh, low fat. So the, the, actual, um, the actual cover or the actual title of the research was the Mediterranean high fat, good dietary fat versus a low fat diet. And how does it affect with uh, heart health? Well, guess what? It was a seven year randomized controlled trial with, the, with participants. Couldn't get more, uh, couldn't get better testing than that, right? And there's what the conclusion was. Quote, I'm going to do a quote here. The Mediterranean diet was superior to the low-fat diet in preventing major cardiovascular events. Our results are relevant to a clinical practice supporting the use of a Mediterranean diet in a secondary prevention. Guys, I'm telling you, you really got to look into the ketogenic meals and incorporate it with intermittent fasting because now as you can see there is still more new science coming out ab about it also you've got to look at a true ketogenic meals and a, a clean intermittent fasting we're talking about non-processed foods guys we're not talking about you just can't go out and just because you're doing a ketogenic meal and you're doing intermittent fasting you can't just go out and still buy all the processed foods and expect to uh, feel the same as if you were getting off those ultra processed foods and those trans fats. So I got about two minutes and 16 seconds left. So guys, go to my BillMaveryCoaching.com, check out my website. Um, if you have some type of medical issue or if you're looking to lose that belly fat or body fat, or if you're looking to reverse type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, or fatty liver disease, or if you just want to talk, go on my website, click the uh, free consultation, and let's go over whatever issues you're dealing with, and let's see what we can do to fix the solution. That's as simple as that, guys. And just keep, um, you know, go to my Fat Loss Made Easy Facebook group page, join the group because I do post a lot of great information and scientific case studies in that group. Okay, guys. So, guys, that's uh, that's about all the time I have left. You guys have a great day, and I hope you saw some value in this. And that shows that doctors, more and more cardiologists, uh, MDs, uh, kidney specialists—I mean, all kinds of doctors—they're they're starting to see the result, guys. Blood tests don't lie. You can't deny blood tests when they're telling you that that person is improving their health by just changing the type of foods they're eating and how often they eat. You guys have a great day.